sometimes you know when you start you don't dream big so you're afraid of dreaming big you think that will it happen will it not happen so i would suggest all young uh, entrepreneurs who are starting with a business that firstly please dream big uh, secondly don't run behind money you know uh, your business should have a meaning so run behind meaning and i think money will flow automatically and uh, be very hard working and very disciplined because again as i said that you know motivation and all is very temporary and i think eventually all that thing you know merges into something very beautiful home is a starting point for love dreams and hope for individual uh, i personally come from a very humble background so i myself have uh, i grew up in a tier 3 city uh, in jaipur so i am personally well aware of this uh, lack of infrastructure either it be housing electricity uh, something as basic as roads trains so it was always in back of my head to do something about it because i think this is a major problem what india faces Uh, I had an opportunity to study with the best brains in the country. I st- I had done my undergrad from Bits Pilani. From there, I got that exposure. So after my graduation, I came to Bangalore. I was placed uh, with a very renowned uh, consulting uh, firm, and uh, fortunately, I had the uh, you know opportunity to visit the nearby places because of the work. And I visited Tumkur, which is like 80-90 kilometers from Bangalore. Uh, they call it like a satellite city from. Uh, Bangalore to decongest Bangalore, and uh, to my surprise, this place was amazingly well developed. There was this uh, Asia's biggest industrial area, which was coming, was in the Sapur industrial area, and I happened to do a bit of research about this area, what kind of industries are coming, how many people would it employ. So, to my surprise, I found it will be employing close to two lakh people. So, upon finding that where these two lakh people will stay, there were no apartments in Tumkur. There was no culture of apartments. So, I personally thought that. this could have a huge demand this place yet there is no supply so i exactly wanted to you know make a business out of this i thought yes i think we should start with this place so it is you know industry for experienced players so that if you see the average age of a person in this industry is 40 plus so personally breaking this stereotype was a little hard for me because my my own people didn't believe in me not because of my work mostly because of my age i'll tell you a very interesting thing so one of my senior person in the company in, in the initial days he told me that his experience in real estate is for 22 years and he was basically mocking me because my age was 22 years at that point of time but yeah uh, you know down the line because of my work my uh, work proved my worth i would say and before i realized my people started to believe in me as a leader uh this is you know mostly how uh, i overcame the challenge plus i tried to create a very healthy environment in terms of my company making sure the employee is feeling comfortable valued and you know he's seeing growth so all this and with the help of my team i eventually overcame this challenge but yeah it was a little hard to overcome the stereotype i would say So Swarnagraha brings uh, two very opposite factors of this industry, and they, it puts them together, which is firstly affordability and luxury. So uh, we have designed these homes in a way that uh, they have they turn out to be aesthetic urban scapes for uh, the society. Uh, these homes are uh, designed in a way that they are very spacious. It has good ventilation. The location is very superior. uh the kind of construction material used uh, it's very uh, it's top notch and uh, it's very eco friendly also so we ca- take care of the sustainability part of construction and we make sure that we uh, make uh, we reduce our carbon footprints as much as we can 
uh, so these homes are designed in a way to cater to both end user market and uh, the investor market so it this house can be a heavenly adobe for your family as well as it can be a good opportunity for investment because it can have attractive uh, returns in terms of rental returns which is 6 to 7% and very decent appreciations because of the location uh, it has a mix of uh, amenities which you won't find in this budget of uh, housing like we'll have gym swimming pool uh, clubhouse community spaces uh, beautiful land, lands, landscapes and parks so all this makes Swarnagra a very unique product which is uh, market doesn't have at this point of time because uh, either you have to shell a lot of money to get all these amenities or if you're not willing to shell this, this kind of money you don't get the amenities so we are trying to make sure that both the things are incorporated in this thing and the customer gets best of both of the world so what we do uh, at the designing stage itself we uh, involve our customers we take their feedback in terms of what their requirements are and what they are looking forward to in a project like this. Uh, in terms of amenities, what their requirements are. So we try and cover two aspects of amenities uh, in terms of their need and want. So the first uh, in terms of need is that basic amenities what anybody would need in this kind of uh, project like their lifts, their security. Uh, in terms of their daily needs, we make sure we have a convenient store within the project. Uh, in terms of medical emergencies, at least there is a pharmacy within the project because our projects are on the highway, so uh, reaching out to these facilities might take time. So the immediate need are covered uh, within the project and in terms of want, uh, we try and incorporate uh, the amenities which can upgrade their lifestyle uh, in terms of a clubhouse, a swimming pool, there is a full fledged gymnasium, um, their play areas for their kids. So these kind of amenities we try and incorporate within the project. We deal with two types of customers. Uh, one are end users uh, who look forward uh, in, in terms of amenities and uh, you know uh, the specifications of the apartment, what they are looking for. So we educate them on that and also uh, providing them a metro city based kind of lifestyle in tier two cities. So uh, the kind of amenities they are getting, which normally they don't get in tier two cities, they get in our project. So this helps them upgrade their lifestyle. We educate them on this part. Uh, the other customers uh, we deal with are the investors. So people like us who are living in Bangalore, they look for investment options. So we educate them on, uh, in terms of the higher appreciations they get in our properties because we are on the main highways. Most of our properties are on the highways. Uh, then in terms of rental, all our properties are located very close to the industrial areas. So they get very good rental, the, it's in high demand. People working in these industrial areas, they come and live here. Either they buy with us or they take these apartments on rental. So when you are in, anybody is investing in this uh, product, they get a regular rental income. We are focusing on uh, upgrading the lifestyle of people living in tier two cities. Currently, the kind of properties are there. Uh, they do not have the amenities which you will normally find in uh, metro cities, like a, a clubhouse, a swimming pool. So we try and uh, provide these kind of amenities in all our, all our projects. Being an engineer myself, I really vouch uh, the technology part because I feel technology can help reduce the cost, uh, increase the productivity, uh, like the quality also. So uh, in our company, we emphasize a lot uh, on the technology we are using. So we don't use conventional uh, brick and mortar technology. So for example, in terms of our engineering drawings, we use, we take help of AI to optimize the designs, our plumbing drawings, our MEP drawings to make sure we have the most, uh, we have the best possible design with the help of AI. In terms of construction, we don't uh, generally use normal brick and mortar. We go with Myvan shuttering technology, which is uh, a technology which was bought up in Malaysia by a company called Myvan. So it helps us to have a better finish a lower cost and uh, you know reduce time of construction which is a very crucial aspect in our industry so merging all the new technologies which are coming uh, it has helped us to you know build a better home for our customers i attend industry seminars and meet architects to gain the new technology and the new products information and we use eco friendly material and uh, avoid uh, using of uh, arm to environment. Our utmost focus is on uh, customer experience. So we try and enhance their customers when they visit our property. Uh, we make sure that our customers are satisfied. Uh, all their queries are answered on time because they are the one who are our brand ambassadors. 
and uh, in all our projects uh, most of the sales the ratio is highest for the referral sales all our customers they when they book with us uh, they go and tell their families and friends and they get as referral bookings as well so our main focus is on the customer experience we make use of online as well as offline media uh, even in tier 2 cities people have access to social media so we to like utilize the uh, social media ads uh, we use the seos paid searches uh, to reach out to these customers we also use offline media uh, to reach out to the local uh, you know residents of these cities home loans are very important part uh, because you know it takes care of the factor of financial inclusion which is a big challenge in india uh the kind of uh, the, our customers most of our customers they they have eligibility they have money but they don't uh, they, they lack financial knowledge is what i'll say so we educate them in that field we make sure they are filing their id returns on time they have their documents on place they are having a healthy banking transaction so by doing all this we make sure that our customers are getting uh, home loans at the best possible market rate they are processing fees less uh you know uh, in india still it's a big problem that people don't file income tax return only 2% of the population uh, files taxes which is a big challenge so the banks don't see these profiles as very positive if a person doesn't have a um itr or any documents required for loan so we give end to end solution to the customer not just you know getting them a home home loan sanction starting from collecting their document to their loan disbursement we handhold them we educate them on the importance of all these factors and we facilitate the disbursement of these government subsidies to them uh, in our sector pradhan mantri awas yojana is the subsidy uh, is the scheme uh, where government gives a subsidy of 2.6 lakh rupees so uh, we facilitate that to the customer and we make sure that a person who is eligible for the subsidy uh, gets the benefit of the same Uh, I was very keen on the subject of sustainable development since my college days. Uh, two very crucial factors of sustainable development are affordable housing and renewable power. Uh, so we have one more uh, brand in the same company, Felicity, called Vellante Energy, where we have a we have developed a very unique co-development partnership with farmers, uh, solar EPCs, uh, and us. So if a solar company initially had to put a solar plant they have to buy that particular patch of land and for them it's a very capital intensive thing so we have come up with a model in which we are benefiting the solar epc company also and the farmer also because these farmers they lack financial discipline so once their land used to be sold they since the, there is no financial uh, discipline of spending these people used to be on road in no time like a year or two they used to basically spend on liabilities they used to buy cars houses and stuff and they didn't have any running source of income so we found this challenge and we solved it by uh, leasing this land from the farmer to the solar epc so in this way the capital of the solar epc is also reduced drastically and spread across a period of 25 years and in this way the farmer is also benefited because he is able to retain the ownership of his land uh, he is getting a annual uh, uh, income from his land which in most of the cases is drought hit so there is no continuous farming which is happening and he gets to retain the ownership of his land at the end of the day after, because the pl uh, plant life is just 25 years so in the past 5 years we have worked with 16 solar epcs in ipp and we have benefited uh, close to 12000 farmers whose land we have aggregated and put for solar plant i think my team is my biggest blessing i uh, personally think i have a wonderful team who takes responsibility they get things done without me saying and i have built that team over a period of time it's not like i found, i you know the first person i found was like that so build team building is very important part of building a business i personally feel if you are able to build a correct team uh, who know their work who are on the job it makes your life much simpler uh, with me that is the case with the time and you know efforts have built a team which is very dedicated in their job they exactly know what their uh, what their work is and you know they're very committed to their uh, thing so i'm very glad i'm very happy the kind of team which is there at swarnagra and i think because of it uh, making all these homes and time and delivering all this is possible without them it won't be possible 
It is a bit hard to maintain work-life balance if you ask me because uh, since it's a startup, it's not well designed. You'll have to do everything on your own. So sometimes you'll have to act as an engineer. Sometimes you have to act as an accounts person. It's there's no fixed uh, boundary of working. It's not like you go to office by nine and be back by six. But yeah, my family keeps me grounded uh, about this. So whenever I'm working a lot, uh, my family, my wife, they usually come and tell me that you have to spend more time. And I consciously try to devote uh, the time to my family because it's very crucial. But yeah, it's a little hard to be honest to maintain that work-life balance because. There's no specific working hours. I'm working like 60, 70 hours a week. So consciously, whatever I can do, I try to do that, and uh, my family supports me a lot in that. I personally, uh, when I entered this market, I personally wanted to uh, have like I would like during my uh, uh, like the time I'm done with this, I would be happy if I would have done like one lakh houses. I would have delivered one lakh houses. But now, if you ask me, I have a different approach to this. Uh, now, I want these. Uh, I want to start with integrated, affordable townships, which does not only have residential housing, but it has commercial spaces, schools, hospitals. uh you know skill development centers so not just a residential project rather a affordable township which is a one stop solution for everybody this type of concept is not there in india at all and i'm working right now towards building something like that the desire to be recognized as a world leader uh, in my own field uh, the feeling that my product or my business is causing an impact to other people gives me immense satisfaction uh solving uh, the very complex problems in businesses with you know very unconventional ways uh, the uh, ability to solve problem is is the reason what keeps me going and most importantly i would say the feeling of uh, you know to develop a barrel piece of land into a quality infrastructure where a person builds his home so that feeling is unmatched like i go to my projects i see kids playing around in these places So I have seen that place from where it was nothing, like where there were plants. Now it is home to families. That, that feeling is, you know, it's pretty special. I would say. So I personally believe I work for my customer, and uh, you know, for the kind of money he's spending, he should get nothing but the best. So that is my uh, reason or motivation.